What a beautiful sunset. Hey, what am I doing? Ah! Hey guys, it's me again, Rex Dino Let's Play, and today I will show you my first module I made. It's called Alchemy Plus, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And today I will show you um, how to craft everything, and yeah, everything that's in it. So let's begin and uh, ignore that. We go down here, and So, um, you need a special crafting station to craft all the items in this module. You need four gold blocks, an armor stand, and a dropper. You place them like this and this. And there it is. That's the alchemy forge. And now we will craft some stuff with all of these items here. Um, I have a wiki for it. It's on my one of my websites. It's yeah. It's in the. I will put a link for it in the in the description. So hey, what's that doing there? Yeah, forget that. So the, you can make enchanted bread. You need three bread and six glowstone dust, and you will get your enchanted bread. Um, I will now show you the crafting order. Later, I will show you what the what the items do. So then, concentrated fungus essence is made like this and this. There it is. And now is a pretty good weapon. It's called. The Alchemy blade, you make it like this, this, and this. And there it is. And now, uh, uh, yeah, there's also a pickaxe, and it's like this, 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 no, that. You need to go to the end city dungeons, to, or yeah, to the out of ring of the end to get this pickaxe, so you need to defeat the ender dragon. And then an emerald, coal, and you need to defeat the guardians and find the water temple or whatever it is. And now we have an alchemy pickaxe. And now the sparkling emerald, which is made like this. And now we make some oblivion bars, which are made like this. Let's take a whole stack of it because there is more to make with it. Um, here's all the oblivion armor. Here's the headgear. The chest piece, yeah. The leggings. Come on. And the boots. And there is also an another thing which is made like this, and it's called the Oblivion Cape. It's just an uh, unbreakable editor, nothing else. But maybe soon something different will happen with it. Okay, now we've got a very special item. It's using, uh, so you can only get one of it in the entire world. And it's the dragon chest plate. You need four oblivion chest pieces. The sparkling emerald, two wither skulls, and yes, the dragon egg. Hey, 
And there is it, the dragon armor. This armor has been made out of several things, the heads of fallen guards, oblivion armor, sparkling stuff, and an unborn baby from a dead creature. How can you be proud of this? I don't know. So the next items are the holy relic, which is made like this. There it is. And the last item is... I forgot the compass. <sighs> the last item is the compass of return. Which is this item here. And now I will show you what every single of one of these items does. Don't equip the armor. So I will go into game mode zero for this. Game mode zero. So the enchanted bread will basically uh, get out of here. Yeah, that's from that thing. Yeah. It will heal your hunger completely. So if I just give myself hunger one one hundred. And now eat it. Bam. Fully recovered. Yeah, and that's it. Bam. The next item is the alchemical blade, which is pretty good sword. It does 8 attack damage and has some other enchantments. Let's slay a cow with it. Bam. And we got some meat. Yummy. Let's throw it away. So, yeah, you can probably can't read this. It's German, but in the in the description in the wiki, it's in English, so you can read it. And the next item is the alchemy pickaxe. It's a pretty fast pickaxe. Um. I think it's faster than a diamond pickaxe. I didn't actually check it out. Wait. Give a P diamond pickaxe. Now. Okay. Yeah, I think they are. They are. Same speed, but this one has also um, silk touch. And some other enchantments. I forgot them. It probably they're on my website. So uh, yeah, go look it up on the website. Um, now we got the concentrated fungus essence. Mm. You can use it to heal because it has instant health ten. That's really good. Or you can use this for creating mushrooms. No. Yay! Pick it up so it don't de doesn't despawn and drop it again. So the next items are uh, what do I yeah the oblivion armor. It, it's just good armor. It has protection ten, forens three, and unbreaking ten. So you've got a pretty good armor, and it looks badass, especially with my skin. Yeah. And it. now I will show you the dragon armor. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's badass. You get double your health. And I forgot actually what the enchants are, but they're pretty good. You actually, I think, yeah, it's pretty hard to die with this chest plate. If no one can kill you with normal. See, only two hearts of damage. Uh, let's will I die? No. I didn't die. Cool. And there's a secret effect if you wear a dragon head with it. You will get particles. And resistance too. Yeah, there's resistance too, but in the snapshots there's a little bug, so... Yeah, forget it. 
and it will look even more badass with it. I'm gonna eat you. So that's it. Oh, yeah, and it's unbreakable. And this here is just unbreakable elytra. You know what an elytra is. You can fly with it, and yeah. The the next items are the holy relic, the compass of return, and the sparkling emerald. The sparkling emerald, when in your inventory, will give you particles and regeneration one. But there's a bug, and I already explained that. Yeah, mm -hmm. no go away. So the last two items are the Compass of Return and the Holy Relic. So the Compass of Return will teleport you to the nearest Alchemy Forge. Here I am. Um, but it will only work uh, when it's in the spawn chunks or in the loaded chunk. So I teleported from up there to here. And if I were far away and this is my spawn, then I can TP back. But if not, for example, if my spawn is somewhere there and the Orkney Forge is here, then you can't do it. The chunk must be loaded. And now, go away. <sighs> and the last item is the Holy Relic, which is probably my favorite item because you can use it to repair every single item. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter how much XP you need it. You need to repair it. It doesn't matter if you can't repair it anymore. It doesn't matter if you can't actually repair it. With this item, you can repair it, no matter um, what item it is and how much damage it has. And I will show you this with a diamond sword with some. A, di a little bit more. Maybe a bit more damage? Yeah. So. Let's see. You throw it on the ground and the whole relic, and then BAM! Repaired. And now with this one. Repaired. And yeah, now with this one. Repaired. Oh yeah. It also works with enchanted items, with modded items, I think. I didn't actually check because there are no mods for the snapshots. And uh, oh, and it also works for the alchemical blade and every item that. Yeah, all right. You can add every single um, module you want. Um, get some weapons from these, and you can repair them with this too. So maybe like something from Dragon or from myself, so you can, yeah. Okay, screw it. I, I, I think sometime. How? Oh, why can I? Screw it. Screw it. Just. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this with armor too. Give it be diamond chest plate one one. Five. It also works with armor. No. Repaired. But there is one thing that uh, happens if you use a block with it. I can't fix this because it will take too many command blocks and how it now is it will mm -hmm. only use one because it what it does is it sets the damage value to zero so it will be repaired and if you use it on a block well see what happens you just wasted a cool item for stone 
Yeah, and that's not what you want. So, and that's why there's a warning. And yeah, don't use it on blocks, guys. You will just waste your resources for it. And I think that's all. Yeah, it was. Um, I just I want to say something else. This module, um, I think it's over there, yeah. This is not only a module like any other, it's the base module for all of my other modules because the crafting station, the Alchemy Forge, is used for most of the um, crafting recipes in the others. Like, that's Creatures Reborn, this is. Uh, yeah, it basically just adds more enemies and Lock.Zyanite also uses the Orkney Forge and Creatures Reborn Bosses too. And yeah, these two these three are in beta, they're not actually finished yet. You can see that there are still some holes in them. And this one at this here is the finished one. You can find every single item I just showed you in here and also these ones. Which I didn't want to show them in this video because, um, yeah, they're not that. You don't need them that much. You can turn the zombie and the skeleton off if they are too overpowered for you, but yeah, just download it and see the alchemist or chemical mobs for yourself. Because I actually don't like them. I made them for my. I made them myself, but I don't like them. Yeah, now go away, holy relics. And they're gone. Yeah. Read the signs. That's why. Anyway. And I hope you enjoyed this video, even if I. Sometimes suck at speaking. Maybe I will do a bad lingo bingo like my friend Tendo Boy. But I think that will would be really funny to watch. I think I might do this actually. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.